Hello everyone, welcome back. We're on to sentence two in Haripota to Kenja no Ishi. I'd like to focus on this de right here. De means setting or location when used as a particle attached to a location. But de by itself or with a different noun actually simply means is. It's just like da, but we're continuing the sentence. So this could be a da with a full stop and it would say jinshu da, type of people who, all this stuff in front of them. But it says jinshu de, and then we continue the thought. So we're going to look at this almost like it's two separate sentences today. Ready? The nouns up here are in pink for your convenience, so you can kind of get an idea for how prevalent the nouns are. And here's a verb in front of this noun, and here's a sentence final verb. So the sentence final verb is tote kangaerare nakatta. Kangaeru means to think. Kangaerareru is to be able to think. Kangaerare nai is to be unable to think. And kangaerare nakatta is were unable to think or was unable to think. It's the past tense. Tote almost sounds like the English word totally and means very similar to totally. Wholly, completely, utterly. Tote kangaerare nakatta. Were utterly unable to think. And what is it they were unable to think? Well, pretty much the rest of the sentence that comes before it. So let's start at the beginning of the sentence. And it says, fushigi toka. Shinpi toka. So toka is when you're giving lots of different examples. And you say this, or something like this, or something like this. So fushigi means strange. Shinpi means mysterious. And sonna means that sort of kijoshiki na koto. Koto is an abstract thing. Joshiki is common sense. And hijoshiki is define common sense. I've replaced wa with o to show you that we can change this first sentence into its own thing by removing jinshu and simply putting a period. So, mitomerare nai means unable to acknowledge. And what are they unable to acknowledge? They're unable to acknowledge this whole thought. So, I want to also look at marukiri. And marukiri is really interesting. It means wholly or completely. I also put roundly because I think that sort of touches on this idea of maru a bit, but people might not like that translation. Just to give you an idea for how you can remember these things. So maru is a circle and kiru is to cut or to slice. So maru kiri is almost like circle slicing. And it basically means wholly or completely or roundly or from top to bottom. Maru kiri mitomerare nai. Could not at all acknowledge this stuff. And what is the stuff they can't acknowledge? It's the strange, mysterious, common sense defying stuff they could not acknowledge. So we have strange, toka, mysterious, toka. And we have sonna hijoshiki na koto. So we have that sort of common sense defying, right? This negates common sense. Those sorts of things. Wa. So I brought back the wa. And we have marukiri. Utterly, mitomerare nai, unable to acknowledge, jinshu, type of people, de. So this is just like da, and we're saying that they were the type of person or the type of people. We have jinshu is a type of person, jinshu des or jinshu da is is a type of person, and jinshu de is the continuative, so it's simply like da, but with a comma instead of a full stop. And as we mentioned, mitomeru is to acknowledge, mitomerare ru is to be able to or potentially acknowledge, and mitomerare nai is unable to acknowledge. So, so far we have the sentence, they were the type of people who were wholly unable to acknowledge strange or mysterious things. Going on to the second half of this, we are going to start here now and go through to the end. So, Maka fushigi na dekigoto ga. Fushigi we saw is strange. Fushigi na something is a strange something. And maka fushigi is a magical or profoundly mysterious thing. So we have dekigoto, which means happenings or occurrences. Dekiru means to be able to do, but it also means to emerge. And ga, we are familiar, is the subject indicator or the specific instance locating particle. So, maka fushigi na dekigoto ga, profoundly mysterious happenings are dot dot dot. And here we have, jibun tachi no shuen de okoru nante. 
So this day is the day of locality or setting. Shuhen is simply surroundings or environs. And jibun tachi no is of us. Jibun is my slice or me. Tachi makes it plural, so us. And no is the apostrophe s or the category marker. So jibun tachi no shuhen is the surroundings of us or our environs. And jibun tachi no shuhen de is stuff that happens at our environs. Okoru nante, to happen or to occur. This you might recognize as the kanji from to wake up in the morning. And it also is the kanji for stuff to simply happen. And nante, nante is what you add to the end. It's almost like what plus te for quotation. And it basically implies that what you're hearing or what's being said is crazy talk. So for such things to happen in our surroundings, that's crazy. And tote kangaerare nakatta. So kangaeru is to think. Kangaerareru is to be able to think. Kangaerare nai is not able to think. Kangaerare nakatta is the past tense. Was not or were not able to consider or able to think of it. And tote, as we said, Sounds kind of like totally. So you can think of it as totally unable to think. Tote kangaerare nakatta. So let's look at this full sentence. Fushigi to ka, shinpi to ka, sonna hijoushiki na koto wa maru. Kiri mitomerare nai jinshu de, makka fushigi na dekikoto ga jibun tachi no shuen de okoru nante. Tote kangaerare nakatta. So let's split it into two pieces here. And it says, the type of people who were un unable to acknowledge, and what were they? Utterly unable to acknowledge all this stuff. And recall that we can make this wa into an o, and it wouldn't change the meaning too, too much. So the type of people who could not acknowledge at all strange, mysterious, or otherwise common sense defying stuff. De. And so we continue to the second sentence. Makka, fushigi na dekigoto ga jibun tachi no shuen de okoru nante tote kangaerare nakatta. So they couldn't possibly imagine profoundly mysterious. Or magical occurrences happening in their immediate surroundings. 